I'm here with Abib Ahmed and he's from Ghana. So Abib, so you're here in Florida training out of the Sasedo gym. What took you to this journey and how uh, did you come about training with Coach uh, Herman Sasedo? Oh, <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. When when all started when all started like when I when I fought Gilberto Ramirez, that's 2018. I lost to him. So me and my managers and my new man, my new managers, they talked to me. I have to come to US to train because champions are here. If you want to be a champion. You have to train like a champion. You have to do everything, everything like a champion. And U.S. is the main boxing. So I have to come to U.S. and start training here. So that's how the journey started. So your fight is uh, August 15th. Um, do you know anything about your opponent's fight? Oh, well, I didn't know anything about him. Well, but the time they told me I would fight him, and I started watching his fight is small, small. So now I know something small about him. Yeah. So any, anything regarding his style that you can see that have a, a flaw or opening that you can take advantage of? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that it, um, by pressure, if I pressure him, I can win the fight. Yeah, by pressure, yeah. Um, so it's like been a year since you've been out of the ring. So yeah. you're ready to shake off the ring rust? Yeah, I've been training normal. So I'm ever ready. I'm always training. It's not that I fight like uh, one year ago. I have a fight, then the fight may be postponed or the coronavirus mess up everything. That's, that's how my fight keeps long. But I'm supposed to fight. Like three fights gone. I didn't fight because of coronavirus thing. So I'm still training and wait for good time. A wild hurricane. Yeah. Are you as wild in the ring as your name? Yeah, yeah. I'm a wild hurricane inside the ring. When, when, it, when it's the time to mention that name, then I have to. So you're spinning in a ring? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when you touch it down, what happens? Blast. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so how long now you've been with Coach Sosedo? Two years. Three years? Two. Two years? Two years, yeah. Okay. Two years. And then how, how two, two, and, after two and a half, yeah. So two and a half, yeah. You've been with Coach Sosedo two and a half Casilo, years? Yeah, two and a half years. So how are you liking it so far, being here and uh, having your um, own spot here in the gym because, you know, you, have, you guys have your own little... Uh, Quarters, yeah. yeah, training quarters, your personal space. Mm. How is it so far? Well, alhamdulillah, I like it very well because no stress. If I wake up, training, eat, sleep, so I have no problem with that, and I love that. And no distraction. Right? No distraction. Nothing. Nobody can distract you here. Only train, train, train and eat. <laughs> train and eat and yeah. sleep. And sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so after training, you, you sleep like a bear or you sleep light? Mm, it would depend. It would depend. If the train is a hard train, if I took my supplements, then you're out. Go dead. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been here, living in South Florida and being away from your home, uh, from Ghana? What do you miss most about your home? Well, my family, my family, because my uh, wife just gave birth last three months. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'll use this opportunity to congratulate her yeah. very much. I love her so much, <laughs> much more love and let kisses. I love you so much, Aramatu. And what's the baby's name? Raudatu. Raudatu. Yeah. It's a boy or girl? Girl. A girl. Okay. Yeah. Raul Datu Habib. And how many kids do you have? Two. Two. Now, yeah. Okay. Now two. You gotta give a shout out to the second baby, the first child. 
the yeah, that's the better. <laughs> Wasila too. Yeah. Her name is Wasila too. Okay. I love you so much, okay? Wasila too. <laughs> and what life have you uh, been home? Did it for you? Yeah, that's one year. One year, one year ago, yeah. One year ago. That's last last June. Last, last year, June. Okay. Sorry, July. Yeah, uh, July. July. Yeah. I feel very, very happy because he is a Muslim too, and I'm a Muslim too. Sometimes, when when he's going to fight, I think um, uh, that MMA guy, uh, the guy who fought uh, Mayweather, what is his name? Oh, um, uh, Magaliko. Magaliko, right? Yes. The guy who lost to Mayweather. Yes. When uh, Habib going to fight him. Yes. They call me, Habib, you have a fight, you have a fight. I say, no, it's not me. It's not me. It's a MMA guy. It's not me. <laughs> so, so I'm happy to have a friend, uh, to brother, a Muslim like him, have my same name with yeah. him. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum, wherever you are. <laughs> we, got, we got a tag in this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Habib, what's your dream fight? My dream fight? World title. That's my biggest dream. That's why I'm sacrificed. That's why I'm here. I'm sacrificed. And who would you want that world title fight against? Anybody at 160. Anyone at 160. I'm ready for him. Anyone at 160. He has a world title. I'm ready for him. IBF, WBC, WBA, and uh, all the four categories, which are, I'm ready for them, all of them. So, uh, Kenya is known for its great runners. So, and Ghana is known for its great boxing. Yeah, boxing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best sparring you ever done? My best sparring. Yeah. It's against me. who? Against the best sparring and against who? Against Dre. Really? Yeah, yeah, Dre. Andre Dre? Andre Dre, yeah. Wow. Dre, yeah. So you were throwing down in the ring? That's my best. You weren't going to stop on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he combat me. He congratulated me. So I do very, very well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do very, very well. How did you end up in the sweet science of boxing? Sweet science of boxing. How I become a boxing? Mm -hmm. Hmm. All started my my senior brother. He is a former box boxer in Ghana at that time, and I hold his bag. That time was like uh, ten years, yeah. Ten years old. Ten years old. That that time, nine ten years old. I would, so anytime when he's going to gym, I hold his bag. Anytime I hold his bag to the gym, and one day I t um, I told him I want to box him because I like the way he box. And he introduced me to coach. That's my former coach in Ghana. And we, I start that day, and then I started training. So you took the lead from him. You took the lead from your brother. Yeah, old? yeah. Now he stopped boxing because he have some injury. He have some uh, injury on his hand. So now he stopped. So now me, me carry on. Oh. Ah, yeah. You know, for the great one to rise, the other person has to step aside. Yes. So. Now, I'm the one to took over now, over my brother. <laughs> <laughs> going in the ring with Fox, tell us what round you're going to lay it on him. Hmm. What round are you going to put the gas on? What are you going to step, step on the gas? <laughs> Predi a... Predict it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, ah. Uh, I have a lot of gas on, uh, in me, but it will depend upon my opponent, how a gas will short. So, coach is my coach in my back, you know, when the opponent short guy, oh, this round three, round four, okay, now you have to get him down. Then, I, because I have a lot of my gas on me, anytime coach told me to fire on, fire on while I reckon, then I have to 
been there. What, what would be your dream run to just get it over with? My dream run would be like at least four, four, five, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what should we, what should the boxing world know about Habib? Hmm. This you know that I'm a great fighter. And Habib is um, Habib is he knows what he wants. So he keeps on training, pushing hard to get his dream bigger. And so I know my dream. That's why I always work hard, harder to get my dream. So they should watch something bigger. In me. Can you say it to, to, to the walking world here? Well, Habib is someone that <laughs> he knows his dream. He knows his dream. So anytime he works hard and harder to get his dream, that's why anytime I'm in gym, training hard, coach is helping me. Alhamdulillah for that. I thank him. So one day I'll be a world champion. Because I know my dream. Um, in in my country, we said any onupa ba dumo, any onupa no no onupa ba na kaje shon kaje beke po dumo mwe chuno e na njen koko koko. Yeah. It means what an old old man who stand and see far. You young man. Whenever if you you are on top of the tree, you can't see there. Yeah, hope you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. This is Habib Ward Hurricane Ahmed. You are watching Autonomic Action. <laughs>